video. Today I'll be doing something a little different than what I've usually done. I'm going to be doing a tutorial for Goat Simulator. We're going to be getting the Robot Goat. And if there's more skins you want in Goat Simulator that you want a tutorial for, I know how to get almost all of them, so you can just leave it in the comments. Plus, there are no shortage of um, wacky ways to get skins in this game. I'll be equipping Angel Goat, which I'm, I don't know how to get it. I don't remember how I got it, and this will help a lot because it allows you the ability to fly, but you can do everything I do with Angel, Angel Goat without. Just like fly with no mutators at all. I just hope you. So look up Angel. Look up how to get Angel Goat if you want like an easier time to end. Because you know how I fly, you know who I flew in here? You can just land in here. Things like that. It just makes it easier. Okay. I'm searching for a purple monster statue. It looks like this, if you can see it. It's in this tower right next to the goat pen. Once you get the statue, you need to go up this hill. Use the one with the molder on it. Uh, you can crush these people if you want. But that'd be very rude. This, the requirements for making the robot go are probably the weirdest out of anything else in the game. You some of them are weird, like Tornado Goat. Yeah, you find a wind statue on top of a windmill. Makes sense. And then you bring it to the window. No, it's, it's not that too complicated. Here. Okay, so once you've... Ne never mind. Once you get the statue to the pentagram, you need to go to the open house, which is the only house with an open door on the entire game. By the goat pen? Somewhere around here? Yeah, that house right there with the open garage. Front door's open as well, if you wish to go in that way. Do not touch this treadmill. It's a very bad idea. So now what you need to do is you need to go up here. And this is probably the easiest thing. And then you need this other walk walker statue, which I believe is... I'm not even sure what that is. It looks like a monster. Once you get these two monster statues, you get, once you get this monster statue, you guessed it, you need to bring it to the double pentagram. Like and subscribe. This is the part of the video where I tell you to like and subscribe, and if you don't, um, my dog will eat your head. And by the way, I should probably mention this. Um, this is way harder than getting Devil Goat, but if, you, if you're visiting this area for the first time, you can hit um, right bumper a couple times and you'll actually become Devil Goat, which is one of the most overpowered skins in the entire game. And it looks sick when you combine it with Angel Goat. You don't need to go back in this house. I don't know why I'm here. This is the part where Angel Goat makes it a hundred times easier. Without Angel Goat here, you're basically screwed. It's like with regular goat, you have to climb this entire ladder, which I'm not gonna do because that takes forever. I'm just gonna jump off there. I need to just go up here. Is it angel goat? It's as simple as doing this. Jumping on here, we flying in. The robot will try and punch you, so you need to look him immediately. I'll let him fall out. That also works. Are you okay? Okay, reattained the robot. Are you serious, T2? G2! G2! Okay, fall. Since I'm nice, I will show you what to do to get up there anyways. If you don't have Angel Goat. Plus, don't worry, once you lick um, G2, 
be to the first time, he will not come back and punch you or run. He can only punch you as long as he's in the container door. Okay, so once you climb up there, that's really hard to do. I don't think I can avoid this. Th I don't think I can do this without the ladder. Alright, now we're here. Nope, I need to go a little more height. And the jump to do it. I just walk around here. By the way, if you don't have aim to go up, this is what you have to do. It's about a hundred times harder. It's you don't you won't think to do this. Hey, so you need to do what I just did. Get on here. There's a goat trophy directly up from there if you want it. And then you get in this box, and then you just need to uh, and land in it. I've done it before. You can do it, but it's a hundred times easier with Angel Go. Okay, now that I've described how to do that. Just bring G2 to. Bring G2. Well, where's that area? Ah. Uh, sure, this video is a little shorter than normal. I usually have a main video, which is in this case is um, the overcooked one. Go watch that, by the way, or my dog will eat your head. And then, like, a side video. This is the side video. More goat simulator tutorials coming soon if you guys want them. Okay, now finally, once we got every, we got this random. Your head will set on fire when you bring the robot in. And here it gives me hair, but then as you can see. Because it's my first, because I've already got it, it won't do that. But if you do it for the very first time, and then we'll give you Robot Goat. Which, which you can combine it with Angel Goat, and it looks really cool. You can combine it with Devil Goat, and that's like its own. So look, where's Devil Goat? Rift Goat does not work with it. Then Devil. Evil robot. You also equip it with Goat Queen. And that looks sick. Uh, goat Queen doesn't work with robot goat. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Like and subscribe when we get um, coronavirus. By the way, disclaimer. This is only for Xbox. I'm not sure if it's different for um, PC, um, phones, etc. So bye.